Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General 5 Draw 2 card with side tray and deep compartment. And as I always state, as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background, my Dunkin' Donuts coffee, okay? Um, just now, um, I just happened to bring in, um, as you can see, this compass, Jeep compass right here. Okay, um, felt the need. Um, this is the 2019 trail rated Jeep Compass. Um, not for nothing, I'm throwing up this footage right here uh, because this is the third time um, this week, basically, um, that a customer had came to me after they've had service done um, to their vehicle. And unfortunately, they were a little mind boggled with um, learning how to reset service on um, the 2019 uh, Jeep Compass. Um, basically, um, the reset procedure is um, the same for these compasses, just as well as um, the Jeep Cherokee. Um, some vary, some are actually um, controlled by the controls, the setting controls on a steering wheel. Um, but on these particular models and certain Cherokees, um, how to reset the services you would step on um the gas pedal three times um with the vehicle off ignition on but with the vehicle off okay um when you look on your cluster you'll basically see that you'll have messages and it will tell you um that the vehicle requires service in order to clear um that message like i said you will basically have um the vehicle on ignition off okay and you will step on um the gas pedal three times and then you will automatically see the messages clear from off the cluster okay so that's mainly more you know for these jeep compasses right here like i said this is um a 2019 model um and so to say for um the jeep cherokees i believe from 2017 and up the procedure is basically the same um i believe um some of the other models um probably before those particular years um are basically controlled um from the steering wheel they vary um because i work on so many different vehicles uh daily you know and the cherokees i do um work on them the jeeps wranglers and so on and so forth but not as much as um some other vehicles i work on a lot of different bmw jaguar um audis volkswagens uh range rover uh, mercedes benz okay um a lot of fords a lot of big body trucks like silverados f-150s and things of that nature okay so yeah, I just wanted to put that little video out there, you know, for the people who basically um, do own that vehicle and, you know, sometimes they get service and um, some of the technicians either they necessarily don't know or they're not looking um, in the right areas to obtain the information. So basically, you know, I'm just throwing this video out there so that you can get a, a good little idea, okay? At the prior moment, um, I can't do a demonstration in the vehicle to reset service in order to show you visually because there is no messages in order to clear. So even if I were to do the procedure, you wouldn't necessarily be able to see it unless the messages was up on a cluster. Okay. All right. So, you know, in the next um, following two days, I'm going to um, be putting out um, quite a few um pieces of footage, a couple of videos. Um, in the next two days, we'll um, be stopping working here in the shop. Um, we'll still be up and running. We just won't be working on vehicles. Um, after the next following two days, we have to report to a different facility to uh, continue our employment. But in the process, uh, before I leave um, from this shop, I will throw up um, quite a few videos. Um, I'm gonna get my equipment out from the back, you know, in the lockers, some equipment that you may not have possibly seen that I haven't um, actually demonstrated or did any reviews on. So I'm gonna bring that 
um, in some of those videos, okay? So look out for those coming. So until then, I'm gonna check you later. All right? Peace.